today we're going to talk about the Gardena automatic irrigation system, the Gardena microdrip system. Before we go into one of the kits in more detail, I just wanted to show you that there's various kits that are available. We have a kit here which is ideal for raised beds, for rows of vegetables, things like that. It comes complete with the kit for up to 40 square metres. We have a kit that we're going to talk about today, which is for pots and troughs. This does seven pots and three troughs. And then we also do a kit for hedgerows. This here is pipe, which has pre-drilled holes that seep water, self-cleaning pipe, and it has 25 meters on that kit. The reason that we use the microdrip system is it saves water, it saves money, and it also gives just the right amount of water to your plants. It's so important not to under or overwater your plants in your garden, and in particular your pots. The kit that we're gonna show you today gives just the right amount of water for your plants to thrive. Now, we're gonna unbox the kit. Inside each kit, you'll receive a bag of mixed connectors and mixed drippers to go directly into your pots. You receive a pressure reducer. This goes directly onto your hose pipe and then directly onto the pipe that goes into the pots to reduce the pressure to the required amount. It requires different size pegs also for the different size pipe which comes into the kit. In the kit you have a 13 millimeter pipe which takes the water directly to the planters and then you'll have a smaller 4.6 millimeter pipe which the drippers attached to which waters directly into the pots themselves. And lastly you have a water control. This flex model will allow you to flexibly adjust the schedule adjust the time that it waters and adjust how often it waters. The first thing you need to do when setting up your microdrip system is to make sure that you have a piece of hose connected to your outdoor tap. That piece of hose should run as near as possible to where you're going to set up your microdrip system. At the end of your hose you'll then connect a Gardena water stop connector. You can then take the master unit 1000 that comes with the microdrip system and connect it to the water stop connector. It's an easy click. Take the 30 millimeter pipe from the microdrip kit, pull back the clasp, and with our easy push fit system, fits directly onto the master unit 1000. This black pipe then acts as the base for the smaller pipe that will water the pots behind me. Once we have connected the 30 millimetre pipe to the master unit as shown before, we can then cut the pipe to the required length. The 30 millimetre pipe we have pre-cut and we will push on the reducing T-joint. The reducing T-joint reduces from a 30 millimetre to a 4.6 millimetre. We would then grab our 4.6 millimetre pipe and as previously done with the 13 millimeter, insert to the 4.6 millimeter joint. Once we've connected the 4.6 millimeter pipe to the 13 millimeter pipe with a reducing T-joint, we can then add on our drippers. This particular kit comes with two types of dripper. This dripper here is called an inline dripper and it will release two liters of water per hour. It's called an inline dripper because it goes in line with the pipe. So you connect it directly to the pipe. You would then grab another piece of pipe and connect it to the other end. From there on, you can cut the pipe to size and add another dripper if you prefer. If you don't want to use an inline dripper, then you could use an end line dripper. This end line dripper also comes with the kit and is adjustable from no litres per hour up to 10 litres per hour, literally at the turn of the nozzle. The tighter the turn, the less water that it releases. As this plant is quite thirsty, we're gonna add the dripper to the end of the 4.6 millimetre pipe and release the orange part of the nozzle so it releases the maximum amount of water of 10 litres per hour. Once you have your drippers in the desired place and the right amount for the pot and the plant, 
simply add the plastic pegs and peg the pipe down. The beauty of the Gardena microdrip system is the sky's the limit and it can go anywhere and do anything. If you ever want to make any changes, they are simple and easy. The final piece of setting up your microdrip system is adding your controller. This kit comes with the flex controller, but Gardena has a number of different controllers, all the way up from a simple manual controller up to a smart controller. The flex controller is very simple to install and very simple to set up. With all of our battery controllers, we recommend that you use a good quality nine volt battery. When you install the nine volt battery, the first thing you have to do is set the time. If you turn this dial to the right, it increases the number. If you turn it to the left, it decreases the number. The local time here is 10 o'clock. So we tick the 10 and the double zero, and that sets the local time at 10 o'clock. The next thing we have to do is to decide when we want our irrigation system to water. I would like my micro drip system to water the pots at 6 a.m. So six tick. And because I've got large pots, I would like it to water for 12 minutes, tick. And then you pick how often you want it to water. So the flex timer will water anywhere from four to 72 hours, and it will water for a period of one to 99 minutes. For this particular system, I would like it to water every 48 hours, and then I tick. You will then see at the bottom the on flashing. This will then set the timer set the time on my water controller. So I tick the on button and that is then set. So at six o'clock for 12 minutes every 48 hours, my flex timer will water through my micro drip irrigation system. If you want to bypass the irrigation and just turn on the water, you can simply press the tap button and that will turn on your irrigation system. You can also reset and change the time by turning the dial to the right hand side and pressing the off. The flex controller also has a special setting called safe stop. What safe stop means is if your battery is running low and has enough power to open the valve but will not have enough power to shut the valve, it will not open the valve in the first place. This will mean that it will avoid your garden being flooded. With the Guardian Flex Control, there is a battery indicator though in the top right hand corner. Generally, a good quality battery will last a full season. One other thing you can do with the Flex Controller is you can take it off the tap and also adjust it directly in your hand. For more information on this and other Gardena products, please visit gardena.com forward slash UK.